Photopea tutorial for beginners, how to use Photopea for free. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am reviewing Photopea. We'll figure out how to use Photopea as a complete beginner for free. You will learn how to get started and how to edit photos like professionals. So let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is you're going to go to your browser and search for photopea.com. Once you search for it, it will take you right here to this website. So this is the website for PhotoP. It's a software for editing and you don't need to actually sign up or you don't need to download it. You can use PhotoP on your browser and download your final image. So you can see this is our PhotoP and we get this home, this device, P drive, Dropbox, OneDrive option from where I can actually get my different images and my projects. In order to get started with a new project, you just have to click on this option right here. Now, to get started with a new project, you can give it a name. Let's call it a test project. After that, we can select the width and the height of our canvas where we will be working. So this is where you can select the pixels, percent, centimeters, millimeters, or inches. I will go with pixels and we can select 1280 by 720. We can also select the DPI here and we can select uh, pixels per inches or pixels per centimeter. Then we have this create option that will directly take me to my canvas. The background color will be white. I can go with black or transparent. Now, this is important. If you want to create a transparent image, then you will select this option and it will allow you to work on a transparent background or you can go with white. Then we have some of the templates available. So if you're looking to create something such as FB page cover if you want to create an insta story if you want to edit an instagram photo so what you can do is you can just select the template from here and it will directly take you to that size we have prints as well we have photo screen mobile and ads so what i want to do is i will be simply editing a picture so i will just select uh you know this uh pixels that i have added and then we also have some of the templates available here you can see so we can create ads and photos like this once you're done with the settings you will click on create and it will take you to your photo p editor now this is our editor right here and it's actually really easy to use at this side of the screen you can see we have our select cursor then, of course, I will have these shapes uh, from where I can select different kinds of shapes and you have to actually right click to get more options. So you select the shapes then you right click and it shows you more shapes such as the, uh, you know, we have circles and then we have ellipse and more. This is the magic tool. So you click right click and then it shows you the magic wand, quick selection and object selection here. Then, of course, we have our simple crop. We have our sport healing brush. And then we have our brush tool from where I can select any kind of brush. So there are different types of brushes available. From here, you select a pencil, eraser, or a clone tool too. Then we have our zoom. We have our transparent option. We have our gradient option, text. So text is also important and you can type anything you want to. After that, we have our... So after that, again, I can add some of the shapes here. So we have rectangle, lines, and more. And at the bottom here, I will be selecting the colors. So this is our color picker, and I will select the color from here. Let's say I selected a brush, and then I can select the color for my brush from here. And then you can write and draw. So we want to edit a picture. So I will be editing the image. So I will add it right here. Uh, once you select a tool from here at the top, you get more options such as if you have selected the brush, you will be able to select the what kind of brush you want to, the stroke size and hardness too. Uh, then we have the uh, opacity here, flow and smoothness. Uh, at the top, we also have file, edit, image, layer, select, filter, view, video and more. And then we also have our zoom in and find option. So you can click on the file and you can actually choose a file from your computer to add to your um, photo P. And this is where you will also be getting the save, print and export option. We can also click on these this image section here and it allows me to select um, image from the gallery or I can select the image that are available here. Once we have selected the image, it will be added to our canvas. At this side, we will be able to see the history and the swatches. Uh, on photo p we work in layers too so you can also create a new layer from here or lock a layer that you're working on if you're drawing yourself then you can select the layers 
and then you will click on the add option and it will add a new layer here. So this is the image that I have added and I can make it bigger or smaller or adjust it according to my frame. Once you have added it right here, then you can add different filters to it and you can also adjust the, you know, gradients from here. We can select the pixels, we can select the word, the height, uh, we can also select the alignment and everything. Once the image is added, if you want to crop it, you will go to the crop tool here and then you can crop the image like this. Click on done or enter and it will be cropped. After that, if you want to blur something, you will go to the blur tool and select it. And then you can blur any part of the image. For instance, you want to blur uh, the background. So you will just move your tool on the background. And we can also select the strength and the sharpness and our, you know, brush size. So maybe I can make the brush size a little bigger. So I'll just click on the top right here. And it will allow me to adjust the brush size and make the image blur. Similarly, if you are working freely on a canvas, you have selected a white canvas, then you will be able to add uh, different shapes from here. As I showed you before, you can add a rectangle or something like that. So let's actually do that. Maybe in this image, I wanted to add a rectangle. So what happens is you will just place it right here and then you can select the color, of course. And for this brush tool, we can click here at the brush. And there, you can see this is the stroke and we can select the color from here. And I can change the color of my rectangle and we can also change the width and the height. So it's actually really easy to add any element into our picture. And here we can lock and unlock any of the layers. For instance, I want to lock the background. So I will click on the lock and it will be locked right here. At the bottom here, we have our add a raster mask. Then we have new adjustment layer. We have new folder and then we have the new layer option. So in order to add the new layer, you just click right here and it's added right here. This way you will be able to work in layers and edit your image perfectly. With the magic wand, we can actually select it and then we will be able to select an image and remove the background. So we do that from here, the quick selection where I can actually draw and select my background or we can go with the object selection and we can select the object. For instance, we have this panda right here and I can select it. Once I select the panda, then I will be able to remove the background. So this is how we play around with different tools and we make our images look prettier and we can create amazing images or stories or social media posts or anything we want to. At the top, we also have the filters and we can select any kind of filter from here. We have sharpens, we have others. So I can go to maybe sharpens and click on sharpen more and it will sharpen my image. Then I can go to the filters again. Then we have lens correction, camera raw and more. Then we have windows. In view, we have zoom in, zoom out. We have pixels, snaps and more. Click on the more and then we have language and theme. So in theme, this is actually the theme for our Photopea here. And then we can also install Photopea if we want to. Once you're done with the image, you just click on the file option and save as PSD, save more. And here you will be able to uh, save PSDs to storage, save uh, here, then we have export. So you can export an image as PNG, JPG, uh, SVG, GIF, MP4, PDF and more. So let's just save this image as a PNG and I can also print it if I want to. So I'll just click on PNG here and then again we have some of these settings that we can do. You can do, I just uh, increase the sharpness a little bit, we crop the image and then we can, uh, this is the name, the format, width and height, the quality is 100%. If I want to decrease the quality a little bit just for the size, I can do that. Click on save and your image will be saved to your computer. You can see right here. This is how we use Photopea for free. All of the tools that I use are completely free and you can access Photopea by just going to photopea.com and edit your photos as you like and create amazing pictures and photos or ads or social media posts to upgrade your editing game. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.